Over thousands of years, these grey langurs have entered a preternatural, mystical covenant with the human world. You could say they did it to ensure their survival. The secret lies in their unofficial name. In northwestern India, between the cities of Jodhpur and Udaipur, lies the Aravali Range. The region is inhabited by the Rabari, an ancient nomadic tribe strongly connected to their old traditions and customs. The Rabari's relationship with animals is deeply rooted in their faith. Here, in the secretive Devgiri temple, the faithful pray to Shiva, one of the most important of the Hindu gods. Shiva is believed to be the father of Hanuman, the deity with the head of a monkey. These grey langurs usually live in the wild, staying high up on the rocks in order to avoid their main enemy. The Indian Leopard. But during the dry season, food supplies for the langurs become scarce. They are forced to descend from their rocky home to the villages in the valley and flock around temples and shrines. In an ancient tradition, the langurs are also known as Hanuman monkeys and considered sacred. They are especially revered at shrines to their namesake. Local villagers come to the temple every afternoon to honor the god and to feed the langurs. With the monsoon a distant memory during dry season in the region, they greatly depend on these handouts for part of the year. The Hanuman monkeys stay in the village, coexisting peaceably with humans. Until, at the start of July, clouds start to reappear in the Indian skies. The monsoon has arrived, submerging the countryside beneath heavy rains for roughly the next two months. Like the farmers and shepherds, the langurs enjoy the rejuvenated landscape full of lush trees and bushes to feed their strictly vegetarian diet. And it's here that these sacred animals will stay until next year, when they'll come back to claim the attention of the faithful once again.